Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. The word expedient also means profitable, right? It is profitable for you that I go away. Is it profitable for you that Jesus went away? Or is Jesus not telling the truth? He's telling the truth. It's profitable for you if he goes away. If I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. So the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, that the Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost, right? And didn't leave. Did somewhere in chapter 4 of the book of Acts say the Holy Ghost left? No, then this is the day we're in, the Holy Ghost came, Jesus left. So where are we right now today? The Holy Ghost dispensation, we are, we are in, the hope, in the Holy Ghost's time, where the Holy Ghost is the one here, and Jesus is away. Is that a good thing? Yes. Is that the good news? Yes. Say, the good news. the good news. This is the good news, that Jesus went away. People don't want to hear it that way. But it's the good news. Are you here? Mm -hmm. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and, and of judging and of judgment. Who's going to do this? The Holy Ghost. Who's God in the earth today? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Is it profitable for you that he is doing this? Yeah. The message must always focus on the Holy Ghost and not on Jesus because it's the Holy Ghost's dispensation. Now, you're going to have to hold on to this because I know immediately that sounds like it's wrong. No, the message is always on Jesus, on Jesus, on Jesus. You're wrong. And it's why we haven't fulfilled, say fulfilled. fulfilled. Fulfill what we're supposed to do in this end time ministry, in this end time church. Because we've been caught up way at the beginning and we've not appropriately and, and in the right way let Jesus go so we could fully receive the another. That's right. Who's going to convict the world of sin? The Holy Holy Ghost. Who's going to reprove the world of sin? Of righteousness, of judgment. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is going to do that. That's right. Are you here? The message must always focus on the Holy Ghost. When Jesus came, what did he say? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he sent me to do this, do this, do this. He was still talking about the Holy Ghost. Look at this right here. Nevertheless, I tell you, it is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Listen, when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to the Father, you see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of the world is judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Verse 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. He will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. He shall receive of mine, show it unto you. All things the Father has are mine, therefore said I, he shall take it. Who, who's the emphasis on here? He, the Holy Ghost, doing things. Jesus said, I'm going to go away. And then he began to go, he, 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 he. We're in the dispensation of he, the Holy Ghost, doing these things. Does this make sense to you? I will send another. He, 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 he. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. Jesus began this message by preaching that while he was still here. Then now he said, I'm going to go away. You need to receive the another. And he, 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 he. And this is what we need to be preaching. That he, the Holy Ghost, is going to do things for you. He shall, not I shall. When Jesus said, when I depart, I'm going to send him unto you. Then it said, he shall. He shall, he shall, he shall. It didn't say, then I shall, did it? Did it say, I shall do this? No, he said, I'm going to be away. Who's going to be the doing? The one doing. The Holy Ghost is doing. Say, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, doing. is doing. He shall. 
He shall, not I shall. Invoke Him, the Holy Ghost, through worship and talk and praise and talking about Him. You invoke Him. Listen, to have full manifestation, you must not compromise this message. We have too many people compromising it. I'm tempted to compromise it. I'm always tempted to compromise this message by bringing in just enough of the old stuff to make people comfortable with it. So, oh, I got to bring just enough religious garbage in here to make you feel comfortable with me so that you don't think I'm just a freak. When the fact is, he shall, he shall, he shall. And if he shall, or if he isn't the one doing it, then nobody's doing it. And so we have religious dogma based on nobody doing anything. No man calls, speaking by the Spirit of God, calls Jesus accursed. And, say, and, and. that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy what? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Well, how are you going to get people saved if all you do is preach on the Holy Ghost? No man can even say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. And somehow we leave this out. So how does somebody say Jesus is Lord? By the Holy Ghost. So that if they're being influenced and encouraged and taught about the Holy Ghost, what are they going to do? Are they going to call Jesus accursed? No, no the Holy Ghost is great. Jesus is accursed. No. <laughs> They will say that Jesus is Lord Amen. by the means of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost message. Yeah. I don't think you're here and I don't think you like me anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> you can't say Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost, by the function and by the action of the Holy Ghost. Are you here? Yep. You think you're doing it by some other way? You're not. It's only through the power and manifestation of the Holy Ghost. So if we want to have the whole earth filled with the glory of the Lord and we want to have everybody saved, what are we going to have to do? Have more Holy Ghost in manifestation. How do you get more Holy Ghost in manifestation? By putting Him in the right place. Yep. What's the right place? He's the one in the earth today. He's God in the earth today. This is feeling good to me, brother. He's God in the earth today. And when you put him in the right place, then people will be making Jesus Lord. You understand? Getting saved. Hallelujah. Message must always focus on the Holy Ghost, not Jesus. Are you seeing this at all? We're in the Holy Ghost dispensation. And when you magnify the Holy Ghost, he gets people saved. He gets people healed. Jesus doesn't do it. Jesus isn't here. Verse 14, but Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, You men of Judea and all you that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my word. So this is the first thing. This is literally the first sermon that Peter is preaching directly after the Holy Ghost came, which was the fulfillment of what Jesus said was going to happen. These are not drunken as you suppose, seeing it is the third hour day, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come a pass in the last days I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. What was Peter's first message? The Holy Ghost. It was the message of the Holy Ghost. This is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. What was he talking about? The Holy Ghost. Message on the, anybody remember Azusa Street? What was the message on Azusa Street that started this whole charismatic revival, literally covered the earth about a hundred years ago? What was the message? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and tongues. And it was a specific manifestation of the gift of speaking in tongues again into the earth. It was a big deal. What was the message? Why did it go so far and wide? Because the message was about God in the earth today. What message do we have? The message of God in the earth today. To have full manifestation, listen, you must not compromise this message about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today. This is the message, you understand? Are you getting this? If we're going to have full manifestation, and the reason we haven't had full manifestation is because we continually compromise this message, trying to mix in a little bit of religious tradition so that people don't feel uncomfortable. 
the message must not be compromised it's not about Jesus it's about the Holy Ghost and the fact that he's God in the earth today don't be afraid to let go of Jesus I'm just telling you things that I have to say don't be afraid to let go of Jesus because the plan is for you to see him again and if we don't do the plan correctly it's gonna take longer mm -hmm.